wow look at that so what we're doing is we're replacing some of the soil in the polytunnel because we have used it so many times now and it's getting exhausted it's either that or move the polytunnel so we thought it'll be easier to just replace the soil with some fresh So this is a little bit of behind the scenes of what we do here with our trials. <laughs> <Have you? laughs> so we've removed all the weed seeds and the soil down here is not actually too bad it was just the top layer it was so dry <laughs> it was so dry that it wasn't really retaining the moisture very well so i'm hoping for a bumper crop of the nucleus now fresh soil wow look at that i bet it smells good too Go on, Neil. Go on. I'm trying to keep the bags for leaks. No, 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 no. Yeah, totally agree. We use and recycle. At least the soil's been aerated now. <laughs> Blimey, you've done one pilot already. Do you want a hand? No. <laughs> I don't really mean it. Ta da! 116. Woohoo! <laughs> staying for dinner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Something like this. Yeah. Oh my god! Right, I'll make your coffee. Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. We've got one or two anemones which came back from last year. But look at that soil. The plants are gonna love this. It smells a bit. Oh, it smells amazing. It's like the bathroom when you've been in. Oh, stop it. <laughs> We're not having that kind of talk. And then if you're wondering what these are here for, that we actually commissioned these years ago. They lock together and we've used them for so many things, edging beds, support, you name it. Absolutely brilliant. We had a blacksmith make them up for us. You can see here where they lock together. But anyway, these have just been put in here because they're nice and sturdy. And then we can put horticultural fleece over the top. So if we get a really cold spell, we've got the polytunnel already, so that's protected enough. But really cold weather, we might want to add some frost cloth. And this will stop the frost cloth from touching the flowers and potentially bending the stems. So that's the reason why this is in. Otherwise, we don't bother supporting our anemones or inoculus because they are under cover. But you will want to give some support if they're outside because the wind and rain can get to them, but not in here. You can find more about soil science on my website. There are lots of videos covering all the different aspects of your soil right here, ready for you to watch. And these are the plants that are going to be going in. They're getting really, really big now. But look at the size of this one, for goodness sake. Absolutely fantastic. And then over here, the anemones are blooming away already. So these stems are just the first ones. They are going to get thicker and thicker and taller and taller as the weeks go by. But it's a very good start, isn't it? It's 
sorry about my noisy neighbour, they're chopping something. <laughs> Never mind.